Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to the correct views. Sam I B. DeGangie doing political commentary for the media speaks. Yes, indeed, it's true. All right, guys, and this is going to be like one of the longest, longest shows we've ever done here, and I'll tell you why. The Christmas holiday and everything has backed me up incredibly. I have never done a show as big as the one that I'm about to do here. It's, it's, it's that simple, friends. I've got idiots coming out of places that idiots shouldn't be. Um, uh, and there's something I have to get to before I even do that. And you guys all love these dumdy shows. Everybody tunes in for the dumdy shows. They want to know how stupid people can possibly be. Oh, man. You have no idea. Just you wait. Uh, one thing I do have to do, though, is uh, ever so quickly, is address a uh, listener question. Shout out to Charles Ward. He mentioned, why don't I break these up into segments or do smaller shows? And it's a question I've gotten before, and it's a very good question. Um, the answer to that is a bit boring, but that's okay. The show isn't, so you'll love it. The, the easy answer is there's an HDF here that's got this microphone. And there is the live that is this microphone. And this is run through Google Hangout. It's, I'm a member of the Media Speaks. What that means is every time I would do a segment, I would have to shut one camera off to start the other one. I could theoretically edit the HDAF down. This one's live, but the HDAF. But that's not going to help me any. Because I don't own any video software that's able to read the HDAF. Now that uh, I don't have Adobe Premiere. I actually went to school and got a degree in IMT, but I don't have Adobe Premiere because it's extremely expensive. That answers the question uh, of the day, and uh, that brings us to where you guys have to vote before we get into the dumdies. It's time for you guys to vote. So what are you voting on? Well, you have to vote for the dumdy of the year. That's right. We do the Dunce Cap of the Month once a month, and we do the Dunce Cap of the Year once a year. You guys vote on it. So real quick, here's a rundown of the 12 stories that you're choosing from. One is for the Illinois EPA. Remember, they got a dunce cap for, uh, for saying you have to watch how you get rid of pumpkins or you will create global warming on Halloween. Also, don't forget, uh, we got the, uh, the EPA was saying sunlight is bad for plants. That's in the running. Um, Regina Sinsick uh, started off the year of dumdies by saying that a white background and a light was a trademarked photo setup. Like she thought of it. It's only been used since the birth of the camera. She tried to, uh, to, to patent it. Uh, we got, of course, the uh, Pinellas County uh, for the barbecue fail. Uh, that was a big one. Uh, literally, the smoke of the barbecue was considered uh, dangerous, and they shut the barbecue down. Uh, we have the teenager who built a treehouse, and their family almost got fined and otherwise harassed by the law. That's in the running. The Florida CPS who took a kid away from his family because the kid was playing in his own yard. He wasn't supervised. He was on his own property. CPS took him. We got the uh, armed forces wearing high heels. Remember that? Meanwhile, ISIS is cutting people's heads off. We're putting our troops in high heels so they can relate to women. Um, Matt Fairbanks from the DEA, because he was worried about now the pot's legal, what's going to happen to stoned rabbits who eat it. No, I'm not making it up. You can look all these stories up. You can see them on Fact Cam here. Um... The college uh, punished a man who looked like a girl's rapist. He was not the girl's rapist. He showed up to school, looked like her rapist, and they punished him. That's in the running. And then, of course, the two that I would pick. This is my vote for whatever it's worth. Um, the, the school that said that you could defend yourself against an AK-47 by stashing canned corn around to throw at an attacker because it'll really hurt them. I didn't make it up. It's true, friends. I swear to God it is. 
They've got uh, Free Bleeding, the drummer from uh, MIA, ran a marathon on her period and bled down her legs because she's up for women. That's definitely in the running. And the last one, of course, even more than the corn, this is my, this is my, this is my choice. It was down between the corn and this, but no, nah, this wins. The Doctor, Michael First, Professor of Clinical Psychiatry at Columbia University, who thinks it's ethical for a, perpent, a person to personally and purposefully blind themselves with Drano. Yes, it happened exactly the way I said it did. Look up blind with Drano, chose to be blind. All right, I need you to pick which of those 12. And every year I tell you what I'm going to send you, it's bigger this year. And I'm not even going to tell you what all it is. You're going to get passing time music. You're going to get your favorite charity donated to. I'm going to send maybe a little piece of silver. How about that? Would that be cool? Yeah. You know what? you got to get your vote in by January 25th. January 25th. That's my birthday. That's what I want for my birthday. Pick one of those 12 and let me know which one you think is the dumbest. And friends, that brings us to the Dunce Cap of the Month show. And th some of these are so... Well, I've got like 27 articles here. So I'm only going to read you the headline of most of them, and you can look it up. One of the reasons is I asked you guys to let me know if you wanted the Christmas stories that I wasn't able to get to. And I got a whole bunch of emails of people that did. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but no matter what season it is, it is a lot of stupidity. So I'm going to go ahead and get to those stories as well. I'll let you know where to look all of this up. So if you want to see it yourself, of course, it's on Fact Cam here, then you, know, you can look them up. And why do I do this? Why do I do this show? I want you to contact the people that I'm telling you that created this stupidity and is creating these problems. And I want you to contact them and tell them you heard about it. And let them know you're angry about it. These are your tax dollars being wasted. This is your rights being taken away. And this is just stupidity taking over the culture. Um, students demand building called Lynch be renamed because of racial overtones. Now, you would think, well, it's called the Lynch Building because they used to lynch people at it. Sam, why wouldn't you want it changed? No, that's not what it's for. Students at a small Pennsylvania college are demanding that administrators rename the Lynch Memorial Building because of racial undertones. The building is named after Clyde A. Lynch, who was president of Lebanon Valley from 1932 to his death in 1950. In other words, it has nothing to do with lynching. The students want school officials to either rename the building entirely or add Lynch's first name to it. What's funny about that is that's also the name of our uh, uh, new uh, fed head is Lynch. So that, that, that's one dumdy right there. Uh, another one, campus reform. UPenn drops faculty master title over racial connotations. The University of Pennsylvania has dropped what the hell is wrong with PA? The University of Pennsylvania has dropped its faculty master title in favor of faculty director amid concerns that the old moniker is racist. Now, do we not teach people that words have more than one meaning in school anymore? Do we not do that? Has that somehow been lost or do we not do it anymore? Maybe I'm, you know, old fashioned here. It does not mean master. Nope, doesn't at all. Doesn't mean yeah, I'm a slave and master, no. If you master something, you are a master of something. It has many, I don't even believe I have to describe this. That's why it's the dumb day of the day. The policy changed, the policy change was announced in an email to College House Faculty Wednesday from College of Arts and Sciences Dean Dennis D. Kirk, who you want to call up and call him, he's an idiot. Dennis D. Kirk. College of Arts and Sciences, Pennsylvania. Let him know he's an idiot for capitulating to this brain rot. Master has connotations towards slavery. No, it doesn't unless you're an idiot. Why well, don't you learn how to read before you do something? How do, how do these people end up leading a college? A current Nemo prison planet, DHS, excuse for not sharing Malik Jihadi messages does not make sense. Now listen to this. This, of course, are the people that did the killing spree in San Bernardino that everybody rushed to say was a, uh, an unhinged white person. 
The claim of Homeland Security failed to share with immigration on social media posts of Tashfin Malik prior to approving her visa does not hold up under scrutiny. The official excuse is that the government feared a civil liberties backlash and bad public relations, and because of this refused to end their secret policy prohibiting immigration officials from reviewing social media messages of foreign applies for visas. It says we are told the reason for this widespread surveillance is to detect and prevent terrorism. Well, if this were indeed true, the information on Malik would have been shared with immigration. The bad PR and supposed sensitivity to civil liberties excuse offered by the government is betrayed by its widely documented behavior. In 2013, former NSA contractor Edward Snowden disclosed how the agency mines Facebook and Twitter to create social connection maps. She was posting it online, and yet they said they didn't want to they didn't want to ring any bells by mentioning it. You know what you need to do? You need to call the Department of Homeland Security and let them know that you know better. Let them know. Say, hey, what are you here for? Are you here just to, are you, what are you here for? You spy on everybody's private messages, and yet somebody posts something on Facebook saying they're going to start killing people, and you don't do anything about it. So, yeah. Am I saying call the Department of Homeland Security politely and non-threateningly? Yes, I am. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. I wouldn't want to be ambiguous. Another PJ dub, Prison Planet student, gets six months suspension for saying black women are not hot. Now, I think that's a crappy thing to say. And when, when you see him, you're racist. No, I made out with a black girl when I was single, and it was, it was mind-blowing. Um, I have no problem with it. But you are allowed to say whatever you please. I think he's a bonehead. I think he's an idiot. But you know what? He doesn't have to watch what he says. This is not China, nor do we want it to be. An idiot, a student was suspended from college for six months for saying that black women are not hot. Another individual who connected that white people have small dicks are always fucking their cousins was not punished. So the, the uh, person of color that accused all white people of effing their cousins and having small dicks did not get punished. But the person who said that black women were not attractive did. This is Colorado College, so call Colorado College. Why am I doing this show? So that you call Colorado College. Let them know, hey, we have a First Amendment in this country. And if you are going to punish one idiot, then you have to punish both, but you really should punish neither. But Sam, you're white. He's saying you have a small dick. He's allowed to. He's allowed to say whatever he damn well pleases. Colorado College took action against Thaddeus Pryor after he was publicly shamed and outed for making the remark on a social media app, Yik Yak. So he didn't even say it in school, he said it on a social media app. And even if you find what he's saying to be truly disgusting, you need to understand if they can go after him and spy on his private apps and punish him for what he says in his private time, then they can do it to you for anything. They can do it to Christians. They can do it to atheists. They can do it to Islamists. They can do it to anybody they want. They can do it to people that speak out against the government. That is why you have to call Colorado College and let them know what the First Amendment is. Uh, Daily Caller, Professor Blames White Privilege for the Existence of Michigan. You know, Sometimes doing this story, doing this show, hurts my brain. The Dunce Cap of the Month award show is so full of other idiots that I can feel myself getting stupider just literally telling people about them. A professor at Calvin College in Michigan, who should you contact when you realize that he's an idiot? Calvin College in Michigan wrote a column accusing his students and fellow faculty members, one of their faculty masters, of being white supremacists for failing to accept the notion of white privilege. The professor also says Calvin College itself and the entire staff at Michigan only exist because of said white privilege. This reminds me of the bonehead that went on hunger strike complaining about white privilege when he had more money, millionaire family, more money than any white person that I really know. Um, 
this division by color, division by race, division by religion, division by anything is going to destroy us. Okay, get There is no white privilege. There isn't. I'm white, and I've never been privileged to anything. Um, I'm a DJ, and you are well, one of the things, just one of many, they say, uh, if you look at the, what, what is white privilege? Can you go into a bar and expect to hear music that is indicative of your race? No! Uh, most bars I go into, I'm listening to gangsters talk about shooting each other, okay? Is that black privilege? No, it's not. There is no privilege on either side. The only thing there is is black people getting hosed and white people getting hosed by a government and a new world system that has absolutely gone out of control. Meanwhile, we're worrying about how much pigment is in our skin. In late November, Calvin College endured a small scandal when swastikas and the words white power were found written on several cars using snow. Two students confessed to the deeds, but their crimes, motivations, and punishment having, haven't been revealed, leaving open the possibility that the stunt was a hoax or a poorly conceived prank. It probably was. According to Joseph Kulema, a professor in social work, the swastika incident is only one of a tiny part of the greater problem of white privilege. If white people were so privileged, then they wouldn't be doing it to black people that were in the school. It's very obvious that black people must be as privileged as white if the school has white and black people in it. Common sense will get you through the day, I'm just saying. What occurred was not an isolated incident or a freak occurrence, he claims. While few members of this community openly espouse white su supremacy, many members of our community continue to deny white privilege. That's because there is no white privilege. Privilege, you stupid bastard. Yes, I said it. Um, Edition.cnn.com. Dutch Museum renaming art for cultural sensitivity. Literally going back and airbrushing history. Do you realize that? CNN. Amsterdam's acclaimed Regist Museum has started renaming works of art in its vast collection whose titles could be considered inappropriate by a modern audience. So in other words, don't look up what master really means in the context that it's used. Don't pick up a book and learn something about the history of the English language. Just sponge the person's name off the building. Don't don't bother to actually study the fact that the word Negro was never considered racist, ever. That it was usually the word people used when they didn't want to offend someone, when they were trying to be nice. Words considered derogatory like Negro, how is Negro derogatory? Caucasian derogatory, doesn't make any sense which were once used casually by Europeans, but will be replaced in the museum's digital catalog as well as text descriptions next to objects in the gallery. In other words, don't look up the context of the work of art. No, just assume that we're going to change the entire name of it. So yeah, now young Negro girl will be known as picture of girl holding a fan. Now keep in mind, the artist was never racist. That it wouldn't sound like we're talking about racist artists here. The word could be taken wrong. Yeah, if you don't know any history, if you're an idiot. If you're an idiot, of course it can. The initiative started six years ago, but took a back seat until the uh, museum's mammoth 10-year renovation project was done. Now that they got the money off everybody, they're going to hose the uh, people that invested in them by doing utter stupidity. Eskimo is considered offensive. Now, this is ridiculous. My ex-girlfriend was an Eskimo. She was proud to be an Eskimo. She used to talk about being an Eskimo all the time. Of course she should be proud. It's her heritage. It's not racist to call an Eskimo an Eskimo. They're not whitewashing history. They're saying, no, no, not at all. Not a bit. Why would you think that? Moving on, friends, that's one museum I'll never be going to, that's for damn sure. Um, 
Kid Daniels, Prison Planet, Global Warming. How could we have a dumdy without global warming? Democrats claim the climate isn't weather. They oppose the dictionary definition. This is why. Nobody knows how to use a dictionary anymore. You thought I was kidding, didn't you? No, I wasn't. This DCCC made the claim in a handout entitled A Democrat's Guide to Talking Points to Climate Change Skeptics. We're not skeptics. We know how to read a science paper. We know that man has not warmed the planet. We know the planet hasn't warmed in 15 to 18 years. That is scientific fact. Anyway, as the title implies, it is meant to advise Democrats, misguided, on how to criticize those who question global warming. No, those who know that it doesn't exist. Climate isn't the same as weather, the guide claims. Individual cold days or hot days don't mean much, but the average global temperature has risen over the last century. 15, 14 to 15 hottest years on record since the year 2000. That's not true at all, by the way. That is an absolute lie that has been debunked by everybody, including Noah. Dictionary.com defines climate as the composite or generally prevailing weather conditions of a region. Need I say more? They literally said that climate doesn't mean exactly what climate means. Why? Because if they can get you tied up in semantics, then you won't look up the actual science. Just like you won't look up who Charles Lynch was. You won't look up the actual science and see that there is no proof whatsoever that man has warmed the planet at all. Zero. Actually, there's proof contrary that we haven't. CNSnews.com uh, Patrick Goodenow, still only one Christian out of 382. We have 383 Syrian refugees admitted since the Paris attacks. And one of them were Christians. Never mind that it's the Christians who were displaced from a place that they have been in longer than there has even been an Islamic religion. Oh yeah, you gotta be, the Jews have Palestine's land. The Arabs have stolen Christian land for years. And it was definitely the Christian lands since there wasn't even a Mohammed yet. Mohammed hadn't slept with his first nine-year-old yet. The Obama administration has admitted 383 Syrian refugees into the United States, and of course, 0.02% were Christians. The people that are Christians have pretty much been left to rot. Okay, that, that's pretty much what's happened. They have utterly been left to rot. Louder with Crowder. Uh, Stephen Crowder is quickly becoming my favorite of the, uh, the new journalists. I, this guy is wonderful. Transgenders now demand that their surgeries be covered as non-cosmetic. Isn't this fun? You know how transgenders choose to change their gender for entirely cosmetic reasons? Right. Well, now they're trying to claim that it's not cosmetic and should be covered under insurance. For decades, it says transgender people have been denied coverage for surgery, as they should be, mental health therapy, which I would argue they need, hair removal and medications that would help them transition to another gender. Good, then don't transition to another gender. Problem solved. Anything related to transgender health was excluded from insurance plans, as it should be. And now they're saying that they're not cosmetic. I'm not going to read the whole paragraph. Calling non-functioning, non-real sex organs cosmetic? Listen to the next part. He writes, it's cute. Every time I get out of the shower and I look at myself in the mirror, I think, that's not what I want, she said. It's a big deal every day. I feel like with this body I have, I can't imagine being in a relationship with someone. Actually, writes Crowder, that's the very definition of cosmetic surgery. Most people get out of the shower, look at themselves in the mirror, and think, I want less of that, or I wish that these were bigger. 
That's exactly how I feel about my back hair. You feel the same way about your penis, he writes. But of course, you have to pretend transgenders are normal, because tolerance and cis male privilege are something. So instead, we must turn a blind eye to these people who pump themselves full of hormones, often carcinogenic ones as a link for it, they cause cancer, mutilate their genitals, replace them with problematic, non-functioning, that is, they don't even work, the genitals, and act as though it's entirely normal and non-cosmetic. Yeah, did you know that? Did you know that a lot of times the plumbing that you get down there doesn't work when you're done? Yeah, that's sane. Of course, we have to pretend they're normal always. Combine this with Obamacare, and what you get is an amazing crap storm to start the new year. You can be sure that plenty of these non-cosmetic procedures will cost the taxpayers plenty. Everyone must buy insurance or face criminal penalty. Thank you, Obama. Insurance companies cannot deny people pre-existing conditions, including body dysmorphia, which means literally it's in their head. Insurance companies cannot deny birth control as women's health coverage. Liberals want male to female transsexuals to be legally defined as female. And liberals want to legally define cosmetic surgery as non-cosmetic and non-effective. And women's health. In other words, what she just described as cosmetic, she was trying to use as an argument to say that it wasn't cosmetic. Uh, brought to you by Mike McLaughlin, M-A-C-L-A-U-G-H-L-I-N, one of the best fictional writers extant today. Look up Mike McLaughlin on Facebook. Michael Snyder, End of the American Dream. Guns in Church. Security is heightened as FEMA helps churches to prepare for active shooter incidents. They're debating whether or not guns should be brought into church. What's funny is throughout, I'm just going to be real quick on this. You can look it up. It's End of the American Dream. Schools. It used to be mandatory that you had a gun in school. I mean in school, in churches. Did you know that? It's mentioned here in the article. It used to be there would always be someone there because bandits in that used to roam the, the old west and they would try to rob the church and steal because they knew people had money because they were donating it to the church, of course. Go to the article for more. End of the American Dream. They would uh, rob the people in the church because they knew they had money. So they would have armed guards there. Now, you'll say, Sam, it's 2016. We don't need that now. We have people being shot in churches. Oh, I'm racist because I don't believe in white privilege. I'll tell you what, those people in that black church should have blown that white freak away the moment he stood on their front. Blam! Gone! Dead! Bye, whitey! Yeah, I said it. I was completely in favor of them defending themselves. We live in a sick world, and you know what? It was a sick world in the Old West when people used to bring guns there, and it's a sick world now. And you know what? It's time for us to understand that we're not gonna, ever going to be able to fix that. But one thing we can do is at least make it a little bit safer for those who still worship. On uh, newyork.cbssocial.com, police say a man and a woman assault a blind Salvation Army bell ringer at White Plains residence. <laughs> 